hey guys welcome back to another video so this video is actually gonna be more like a vlog because i'm gonna take you all on a little journey with me to basta hall that's in the vicinity of kuva tabakit area here in trinidad that looks sweet to the tree that looks really sweet so on my way to Basta Hall, I stop and take a little water break and I happen to notice the view ahead of me. Y'all, this view was so delightful. That's God doing. I've never seen anything like it before. Amazing. What the demo? I know it. But watch that view with them clouds. How I am. even people. I was obviously a bit intimidated with the cars passing up and down. But yeah, look at this view. Yeah, sorry to disappoint all them, but... Nah, we have an excel field. No cars. A couple of dogs, but no cars. I'm wonderful, I can't really dogs. Okay, so now I'm actually pushing the bike up the hill because it was a very steep hill. And I just decided to take my time until eventually I got the hang of it. Watch that <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see, but um, that's actually cows in that field. It's from a far distance. Die or nothing. I'll conquer the other side. This girl walking up and, and down, down the hill. hill. She walked them up to the top of the hill, then walked them down again. So, I'm about to start painting this beautiful image. As you can see here, I've already started to block in those beautiful colors together. I used a bit of ultramarine blue and a bit of purples and right here I started using a blend, a mixture of sap green and burnt sienna. All right, so it took me about three to four hours from start to finish, which was way longer than I actually anticipated. I wanted it to be only an hour, but I used oil instead of acrylics, which would have taken me a lot less time. But either way, it still turned out great and I had mad fun with it. So I know y'all can actually see it because this is going pretty fast, but I used hairpins to make those um, detailed brush strokes in the grass, which I thought was pretty innovative. What I really enjoyed most about this painting is the fact that the reference actually came from my own little adventure, which to me makes this piece very unique. And y'all can definitely look forward to some more adventures and speed paintings from me in the near future. So I was just basically getting those um, definition going in the clouds, adding a bit of titanium white and more ultramarine blues. <laughs> Timing can be more perfect for me because I bought some brushes and mini canvases about 8 by 10 just the day before and I was so excited to finally make use of them. And I really love when those pinks and purples started to come in in the clouds. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm not really used to doing landscapes, but I really enjoyed how this one come out. This piece will be for sale as well as print, so if anyone is interested in purchasing and supporting, please comment below and I'll be sure to get in touch with you, all right? Like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next adventure. Mwah.